Jim Jordan from the House of Representatives sends a letter over to Alphabet saying that you disclosed documents our direction and you redacted a huge portion of those materials. And we want to see the full items that we requested. Thousands of pages of materials came over to Congress after a subpoena went out over to the big tech companies. The Hill is telling us that those documents cannot be improperly redacted. So Jim Jordan sent another letter over to them. We'll take a look at that one. On Monday, sent a letter to Alphabet, the parent company of Google and YouTube, urging full compliance with the subpoena, requiring the production of unredacted documents pertaining to the company's communications with the executive branch. In the letter, Jordan said the company released insufficient information. They produced only 4,049 pages of material with key details redacted, quote, despite explicit instructions to do so. Now, Alphabet is just one of several tech companies like Amazon, Apple, and Meta. They all got subpoenaed in February for, quote, reported collusion with the federal government to suppress free speech. In response to the subpoena, Microsoft said at the time, well, we've started producing documents. We are engaged with the committee. We're committed to working in good faith. Republicans have, of course, accused the tech companies of suppressing free speech. The Hill has reached out for comment to Alphabet, but not hearing much from them. This is the letter from Congress of the United States House of Representatives Committee on the Judiciary. You see Jim Jordan, chairman from Ohio, is the author of this letter sent May 8th. This one's going over to Alphabet, and apparently the company, the lawyers that are representing them are Mr. Daniel F. Donovan. And so Jim Jordan sent this letter, you can see, signed by Jim. He writes to Alphabet. He says, the Committee on Judiciary is conducting oversight of how and to what extent the executive branch has coerced or colluded with companies and other intermediaries to censor lawful speech. As part of our oversight, back in February, we tried to obtain voluntary compliance of your client Alphabet Google YouTube, all of the things. The committee issued a subpoena for relevant documents, the subpoena, with a return date of March 23rd. Alphabet's compliance is insufficient, and we write to note our concerns with Google Alphabet YouTube's compliance. Thus far, your company has produced just 4,000 pages of materials in response to our subpoena. Moreover, Google, despite explicit instructions enclosed with the subpoena to produce unredacted documents, Remember, Alphabet is not a national security agency. They're not the FBI. They don't get to go around and say sources and methods like the FBI does all the time. They're a company. Alphabet has frustrated the committee's review of the responsive material by unilaterally redacting key information necessary to understand the context and the content of the material. These redactions do not appear to be based on any applicable privilege because Alphabet hasn't asserted any. And the committee requires this material to be produced without redactions. Furthermore, Google Alphabet has recently been placing documents in a reading room in a form and manner that prevents and frustrates the committee's understanding and use of those documents and fails to comply with the terms of the subpoena. So they created what sounds like to be a little bit of a skiff, a secure facility in which which the congressional aides can go and review the documents. Then when they get in there, they can't take the documents. They can't copy the documents. They don't know where the documents came from. And the documents are highly redacted. We expect, writes Jim, that you will produce all responsive material without redactions, both for documents already produced, so do it again, and for documents to be produced going forward. And that you will produce these documents directly to the committee consistent with the subpoena. In addition, your rolling productions to date have not included the material we have reason to believe may be in the company's possession that is responsive to the subpoena. The following examples reference the type of documents that Google Alphabet may possess and which are a priority for our congressional committee, and we want to see these in the next production. This list, however, is not exhaustive or comprehensive. We want everything. Here are a couple of examples. One, Alphabet should possess responsive communications with other social media platforms related to content moderation. So was Google messaging Facebook and Twitter and TikTok and Snapchat and communicating with them to create this cabal of censorship. To date, Google has not produced an appreciable volume of these communications exclusively with other platforms. So you're just giving us your internal stuff. We ask for stuff outside as well. Alphabet should possess responsive documents in the custody of its subsidiaries, meaning Google and YouTube and all of the other subsidiaries. To date, Alphabet has not produced an appreciable volume of the documents in custody of Mandiant, Jigsaw, and other subsidiaries. Alphabet should also possess responsive communications with the Global Disinformation Index. 
To date, Alphabet has not produced an appreciable volume of any of these conversations with third-party entities. And Global Disinformation Index sounds like another one of those agencies and entities. We read through many of them here, talked about them when they would create their own private algorithms, remember? And then they would monitor Twitter. And then Twitter, they would say, is filled with Russian bots. And you say, well, can we see what you're doing to calculate those numbers? And they would say, no, it's proprietary. So they want to know, what was your communication with these entities? Alphabet should possess communications conducted through channels other than email. Okay, we don't just want your email. We also want other conversations taking place on Slack, Microsoft Teams, Jira, Signal, WhatsApp, Messenger, Telegram, text messages, direct messages, anything including physical memoranda that you wrote out on printer paper. To date, Alphabet has not produced an appreciable volume of non-email communications. So they're like, just give them some emails, you know, just give them some emails. You know, go to your spam folder and just print everything in there and send it over to Congress. They can't tell the difference. Alphabet should possess internal communications among Alphabet employees referring or relating to any documents and communications from the executive branch of the United States government. So who were you communicating with to censor us on elections, on COVID, on all sorts of other misinformation problems? Whether this was public or not, public referring to moderation, deletion, suppression, restriction, reduction of circulation of content, and so on. Such material would include but is not limited to internal meeting notes or discussions of government requests, recommendations related to other content moderation included. To date, Alphabet hasn't given us anything. Although the foregoing examples reflect the types of documents that Google and Alphabet should be prioritizing in giving the committee, it is necessary that Alphabet promptly complete its production in full. So we want this stuff in the next batch, but you're not done. We note Alphabet's rolling productions have extended for more than a month past the subpoena return date. And so we, the committee, expect that Alphabet will complete its production in full without redaction no later than Monday, May 22nd at 5 p.m. They referenced the Twitter files, saying the release has shown just how extensively the executive branch has communicated and coordinated with technology companies regarding content moderation. We saw emails coming out of the executive office directly to Twitter people and them saying, sure, we had rolling meetings where they would just had a standing meeting where they would just meet regularly. We saw emails from Elvis Chan, who was encouraging censorship because it was dangerous misinformation. The list goes on and on. Accordingly, for all these reasons, we expect Alphabet's full compliance with the term. If Alphabet fails to comply, the committee may be forced to consider to use one or more enforcement mechanisms. Remember what happened when Liz Cheney and crying Adam Kinzinger started their enforcement mechanisms? That was non-compliance with a subpoena. That was a referral over to the Justice Department. Thank you for your client's attention to this matter. Please, lawyer, take this back over to Google and Alphabet and tell them we want our documents. Jim Jordan sending that over to Google and Alphabet and YouTube. And I'm very curious to see exactly what they uncover. I'd love to see all of these unredacted documents. I'm particularly interested about YouTube's conversations with maybe individuals in the executive office of the presidency. We know what happened with Twitter. Did it happen with Google? Were search results misinformation protected at the behest of the White House? Were YouTube results or individual channels targeted just like individual Twitter accounts? were targeted? Probably. We'll see if Congress gets their hands on it and we'll look forward to digging in.